Today I'm going to be explaining Backrooms level 900, and after this explanation, you'll probably be really uneasy about touching beds ever again inside the backrooms, and especially going to sleep in those beds. Or not, it's really whatever you want. Anyways, thank you for clicking on this video, let's dive right into it, shall we? Backrooms level 900 is the 901st level inside of the backrooms, and it's been classified as a class 1 difficulty. It's listed as safe and secure with a minimal entity count, but in reality it's a little bit more dangerous than that. The first thing that the level document says is, quote, There are currently two known exits on this level that are difficult but not impossible to reach, end quote. Yeah, the description starts like this. Level 990 is an absolutely huge mattress store. Now, even though it's massive, it is not infinite, which is actually a thing that goes on with a ton of backrooms levels. Most of the time, it's because of the non-Euclidean geometry that these levels have, but here on this level, it's just a big old building. There's no non-Euclidean geometry. The width of the building seems to be pretty normal, but the length is estimated to be somewhere around 500 miles from front to back. The layout of the level is full of beds, obviously, but there's also nightstands and an occasional couch and shelves and that kind of thing as well. Level 900 is also well lit with fluorescent lights in the ceiling. The ambience of the level is very calm. I mean, how can it not be? But some of the people that have been here have reported the level smelling weird. Some say it smells like chamomile and lavender, others say it smells rotted and weird. It just depends on who goes, I guess. There is little to no sound echoing through this level. It almost feels like it's a sound deprivation chamber. I mean, there's literally nothing. And it feels very liminal and empty. Above some of the beds lined up on the walls here, there are dream catchers that have been nailed to the wall that are made out of different shapes and sizes and that kind of thing. These dream catchers are a very common attribute to the level, but as far as we know, they don't really serve a purpose, but that could change. So, no matter how you get sent to level 900, you'll spawn in the very middle of it. And since there's 500 miles in this entire level, that means that either way you walk when you first get here, you'll have to walk 250 miles to get to an exit, which would take about three days of straight walking at a very fast pace. Nice! The level's calm layout is not consistent through the entire thing, though, and I'll explain what I mean by that right now. When you get sent here at the very middle of this level, the beds will look clean and will have new sheets and pillows and that sort of thing, just like ones you'd see at a real life mattress store. In this beginning area, there are those dream catchers on the wall and there's even an occasional stuffed animal on the beds. But it's as you walk further and further away from this middle area when you'll notice the bed starting to become more uncomfortable and old and decaying. They'll start to look older and unkempt, and just in general, the level becomes more gross the further away from the center that you walk. This is obviously a strange anomaly, and it's actually a pretty common thing through a lot of backrooms levels, it seems. The further you get away from the spawn point, the more unstable and dangerous the level gets. Anyways, let's talk about some of the properties that actually make the place dangerous. So the level seems to possess the ability to make wanderers more and more lethargic and tired the more they walk in the level. And it's not just being, you know, regularly tired, you'll start to feel extremely exhausted, and all you want to do is get into one of the thousands of beds here to sleep especially if you've been walking for a couple days. But as you can see by the title of the video, never ever get into a bed or even touch them. No matter how tired or fatigued you are, never do it. The reason for this is because if you sleep in a bed on this level and then you'll wake up, you'll find yourself back at the very center of the level again to start over. So you could have been walking for two or three days at hundreds of miles towards the exit at the front or the back of the level, but because you fell asleep, because you're so tired, you woke up and you have to start all over again right back where you begin the level. But the real problem is that the level will kind of trap you in a pattern of this. You know, you'll be walking, you'll get tired, you'll sleep, and you'll be sent to the middle to do it all over again. And eventually, you're gonna run out of food and water, and you can't really help it unless you just don't give in to the tiredness, just keep walking. That's the only way to counteract it. On top of the level itself making you tired, there's also sometimes a soft lullaby type music that's been playing deeper and deeper into the level. And somehow this has an anomalous effect that will make you more tired than you are before. 
It's actually thought that the entity that lives on this level here is responsible for the music, but we don't really know for sure. And speaking of that, the only entity here that's been seen so far is named Tucker. And this is definitely a weird one, so buckle up. Tucker has been sighted just a few times, like two or three. And the description of Tucker goes like this. It's supposedly a seven foot tall goat sheep hybrid humanoid thing with horns. Even though that sounds terrifying, Tucker actually hasn't shown any aggressive behavior and kind of behaves like the kitty entity from Kitty's house. It kind of just stands there and watches you. But because it looks like it does, it sort of kind of gives you a creepy feeling and it might unsettle people. It's unknown if Tucker controls the level or controls how tired you get or controls the music or whatever. We just don't know. To enter this level, you have to be sleep deprived on any level inside the back rooms and you'll probably get sent here. But it's also thought that you can find a mattress store on level 11 and get sent here. Who knows? Now there are two exits on the level that I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. One of them is at the front and one is in the back. And remember I said you spawn in the very middle of the level when you get here, so you have to walk around 250 miles to get to either one of these exits while fighting the urge to go to sleep while possibly being stalked by the Tucker entity. It just keeps getting worse. But if somehow you manage to find yourself at the very front of this building and you'll walk out the front door, you'll notice that the level outside is just a quiet, empty city street. It's lifeless. There's no cars or anything. The only thing there is one single coffee cart. You'll also see some kind of mattress storefront from where you just came in from. It changes depending on who comes to the level. Sometimes it's a brand that we all know, sometimes it's not. It just depends on who comes here. But the outside of the front is nothing too crazy. It's just an empty city street. But in order to actually escape the whole level, you have to find that coffee cart and then pour a cup of coffee and drink it and you'll be sent out. Now the back exit of the level looks like a small back alleyway with a fence around it. And in this alleyway, there's a mattress on the floor. And in order to leave the level, you have to lay down on that mattress to be sent out. So yeah, quick summary speed run time. This level is a 500 mile long mattress store with anomalous effects that make anyone traveling here feel very tired and fatigued the further you walk to an exit. But if you give in to the tiredness and fall asleep on a mattress, you'll be sent back to the starting point to travel it all over again, essentially creating an endless paradox of sleeping, walking, sleeping, walking, sleeping, walking, and so on. Not very fun. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of the channel getting to 1 million subscribers, I'd appreciate a fat subby for your old boy. But if not, it's okay. Either way, it works. Thanks for checking me out in this video. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.